Hello! It's time for the grand house tour. Or is it? Nope, not yet. This is our furniture review video. So, but before that, we would like to highlight that this video is done in collaboration with Castlery. Castlery is a modern furniture company that creates a story for every room in your home. They craft furniture that is timeless, using the highest quality raw materials to create pieces that are built for longevity and multi-purpose use. As it is a direct-to-consumer brand without middlemen, they are able to extend honest pricing and affordability to their customers. They believe that there is value in taking the time to curate your home with intention, which we are very much aligned with, especially if you're going to stay in a place for the long term. They want to help you create spaces that make you feel good, building intimate connections between you and your space and the people you bring into it. The brand believes in creating homes that can do everything, with dining tables that operate as headquarters, beds that moonlight as pirate ships, and couches that double as front row seats. What made them stand out from other furniture companies is that they have free fabric swatches, basically samples that you can get to compare with your floor tiles, wall paint, etc. before you make your purchase. This is exactly what we did before we finally picked the owl grey tot so far. They also have free shipping for orders above $300, a 30 day return policy and quite an extensive warranty coverage for their product. You guys can read more on their website linked down below. They recently came out with this promotion for upcoming BTO and condo homeowners. Of course, being a new homeowner's promotion, you have to be a new BTO or condo homeowner. So to get the promo code, you have to select your respective estate and key in your email address to receive the code before you check out. Basically, they are giving tiered discounts off all furniture sidewide based on the amount spent, which in our opinion is pretty easy to hit anyways if you are a new homeowner and getting everything for the first time. With the tiered discounts up to $500 off, you can just get another armchair off their site with the savings. For more information, please head over to their promotion page, link down below in the description. Back to the video. So entering from the main door, this is the view that you are greeted with. So where shall we start? Hmm. Okay, let's start off with the TV console. This is just a 1.5 meter long solid oak wood TV console. To be frank, we took a gamble with this since it's shipped from Taobao. There's no way to check the colour of the wood, but to reduce the furniture looking mismatched with each other, we decided to purchase the main furniture from the same seller. So this is namely the TV console, coffee table and dining table set. This TV console fits our narrow wall and still allows space for the curtain to go into. It also has a design that we like and has sufficient storage space like on the left and on the right. But we still need to organize the main drawer. <laughs> it features a cutout for electrical sockets to fit through, but sadly there is cut for China sockets. So we got our carpenter to cut out the whole back panel for us. In hindsight, we should have checked the height of the sockets because now the console can't sit flush against the wall because the sockets are too low for the back panel that was cut out for us. Next on the list from the same seller is our coffee table. It's just a classic pill shaped 1 meter long table that doesn't have any fancy things like drawers or hidden compartments. But if you watched our videos enough, it also doubles as our dining table sometimes as we eat our meals while watching shows. Next up, our first cassowary product. This tot sofa was purchased with our own money back in August 2020 during the National Day promotion. We actually went down to the showroom to test the sofa because Nick is particular about testing physical products before buying, especially if it's such a big product. If it were up to me, I've gotten it off Taobao, but no regrets getting this sofa. We liked the firmness of the sofa and the height from the floor. The only gripe I had with the original fabric was that it was a little rough for my liking, and the grey had a slight yellow undertone. We asked for samples from the counter staff on the spot and brought them home to compare with the tiles we pre-scouted from Parkery. Some people like licks on their sofas, but I didn't. Yes, me specifically. Also, I didn't want licks for the sofa because we knew we were gonna get a dog sometime soon and I didn't want the dog to be able to hide under the sofa where we can't reach it and pee there. We couldn't get the guys to install our sofa as we had it delivered during our renovation period due to the key collection delay. But they assured us that it will be very easy to install. Just align, click and push in, which was literally what we did. Total breeze to install. Moving on to the dining table now. If you remember a few vlogs back, we recorded the delivery of this table and that our previous dining table from the Taobao seller had a crack on it. So when Kasori reached out to us to do this collaboration, it was the perfect timing. We were just gonna wait till the table broke down and then go shopping for a new one. We found the Vincent dining table and the oak colour looked like it would fit what we already have in the house. 
After we swapped the table, my family didn't even notice the difference, so mission accomplished. The Vincent table does look more polished with the rounded corners and smoothly tapered edges when you compare it to our previous table. The minor gripe I have is that it now no longer lies flushed against the wall, but it's a you win some, you lose some kind of situation, so no biggie. These dining chairs were part of the previous dining table set, and since they are still working fine, no point getting another set of chairs to clutter up our tiny BTO space. The chairs themselves are great, very solid and very comfortable. Our neighbours came over to try the chairs and purchase their own set as well. Next room is the one that you have rarely seen in our vlogs and the one that everyone comments like, wow, you have so many things. Here you see the old dining table. We drew out the IKEA table that, used, that was meant to be placed here since the old dining table is more solid and not warped despite the crack. The old IKEA tabletop was actually already sagging due to the weight of my monitors from my old place. This table is still holding out well so we will just use it. It's a pretty no frills table and it's a good enough size as a work table for craft model kits and board games. The shelves next to the table are actually supposed to be meant for kit storage and similar to the IKEA trophas but I thought it looked pretty and functional so I got it. There's actually a lot of configurations for this particular set of shelves and I chose the one with shelves at the top instead of opting for all with pull out storage. I wanted to put my craft books in the top row but now it's consisting of board games and my craft books. Also some cookie bags and stickers on the right. My muscle stock sit at the top along with the spare drawer runners mentioned in the last video, and also some packing materials. The bottom pull-out drawers are now being used to house all my cookie containers. The thing about this seller is that they take a really 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 long time to send out their furniture, so this particular set took them one month to send out. Also, no instruction manual was provided and I had to ask them for instructions. Then they sent a bunch of images, and we had to basically figure out what goes where from there. The build quality is decent, but I'm not sure it's actually worth the wait. And now, we are off to the study. So for the study tables, we got it off Shopee, and even though it's pretty cheap, I don't think we can recommend it. There's some discoloration on the table surface, even though it's supposed to be brand new, and the cable management solution is not good. Just a couple of 3M stickies to stick on the base of the table, but they fell off shortly after as well. So right now, we are using duct tape to stick the cables up so they don't take our legs. Screws given were not good, like the cross on the screw head was not done properly so we couldn't use it as, and they didn't give enough extra screws either. So the pre-drilled holes were not properly aligned and it was difficult to assemble the table. It was literally done with blood, sweat and tears. The motors themselves, are pretty okay in terms of noise level but if we raise or lower the table, everything on the table shakes. In Nick's case, there's a motor oil smell that comes out whenever he adjusts the height. We'll still put the link down below but purchase at your own risk. On the left of the table, mentioned previously in one of our videos, these base seats were actually meant to be a testing bit for an actual built-in one. So right now it's just being used to store our documents and other file related things and I've not really used the seat as a seat, so more of using them as a storage to put my craft stuff so that my table isn't as cluttered up. Luckily it was cheap, so it's still a good storage solution for now. On the left of the base seat, previously featured in our vlog, this dog bed is proving to be pretty handy. Moji sleeps in it pretty often and chooses to sleep here at night instead of with us in our bedroom. The top shelf can keep some small knickknacks or we can just place our bags there. The bad thing about it is the finishing is pretty rough so we gotta do our own sanding and wood sealant. The, on the left of the dog bit, these Calyx lookalike shells were found on Taobao and are of pretty good quality but I must mention that it's not solid wood. It feels very good despite being rather thin planks though. One of my favourite points of these shelves is that the borders and the sectioning planks are of the same thickness. Results in a sleeker look. You can also buy these optional boxes that slot into the hole and when it collapses it lies flat. There's also one seated in between us for putting frequently used items such as a desk vacuum, SD cards, batteries, etc. Finishing off, there's no other big loose furniture in the rest of the house, so that will be it for this video. All the links for these furniture will be in the description box below. So now it's off to planning for the next house related video. See you in the next vlog and don't forget to check out the castle promotion.